Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my video. In this video, we will learn how to loop through each character of a string. We can use a rain based loop to iterate through each character. First, we are going to try that one. And we can also use a traditional for loop to loop through every character. So I have already included IO stream and string. Also added using namespace std and our main function. In our main function, I will define a string. And initialize it to some value. String my string uh, set to simple hello world. And now I'm going to use a, a rain based loop to iterate through each character for, and this will be auto on uh, each character. And this is my string. And we are going to output by using C out each character. And I will just uh, run our code and check the output. And here is our uh, string printed. Uh, if you want to see the uh, character on new line, each character on new line, we are going to add a uh, uh, new line after printing each character. So we know we are printing single character when we loop through our string. And now run our code again. And here is each character printed on a new or separate line. And now we are going to use the traditional for loop. This will be over here. And same, uh, I will add another string, a little bit different. So I will have a string and I will name it a string str for string and this will be hello world again or I will change it to something else so that we don't get confused with the first string. So this will be welcome to a same code and now our for loop this will be of size t our variable set to zero i is less than strings length and then we are going to increment our i and inside our for loop, we are going to print each character by using the array notation of a string. So this will be a string with index i. And here I'm go also going to add a new line character after each uh, character. So uh, those characters get printed on a separate line. So I'm just going to save this program and run. And here is the output for our second string. Welcome to a same code. We can see over here is also printing a space character and a new line. I should add one more uh, new line character uh, before uh, printing the second string. This will be over here. I will just output one extra end of line. This will make look it better. 
now it looks better uh, because our second string start after a new line. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at same code. Keep supporting me, like my video, and thank you for watching.